So this time around we're playing as Hulk, and if you wanted an easy mode for the game, the Hulk's as close as it gets. Aside from, of course, Quicksilver, but that's a bug, and the developer is working on fixing that, or he has already fixed it, one of those two. Now Thor was definitely a tank, and Thor's projectile is way more fearsome than Hulk's, but Hulk is tankier than Thor in spite of his weaker projectile, so I think it balances out. You can still definitely lose with Hulk if you don't pay any attention, but you can still definitely be more absent-minded with Hulk than you can with any of the other characters. Hulk's special attacks are really nothing to write home about. He has his sonic clap, and he has a leap where he leaps straight up in the air and comes back down like that, which is useful for knocking enemies on the ground. But neither of them are all that impressive, and his basic melee attack is basic combo, definitely way more... Definitely way more useful. There are two main reasons why I chose Hulk for this stage. One of them was that exterior boat section back there with the flames spilling everywhere. Because Hulk can take those without worrying too much. Sure, it's possible to avoid them, but with Hulk you don't really have to worry about it. And this is the second reason I chose the Hulk, this dark tunnel segment. It's really hard to see anything in here. So just flailing around wildly with Hulk is my preferred method to deal with this section. You've hopefully noticed by this point that Hulk has a hilarious uppercut that sends enemies flying off the screen. It doesn't deal that much damage, but I use it all the time because it's funny. There is something, uh, something a little more important to note about Hulk, though. He doesn't grab enemies while he runs into them. Unlike most characters with running animations, instead he bowls them over. Running into enemies actually deals damage. As you might imagine, this is particularly useful for this section. It is particularly useful for this section where everything is kind of pitch black, so you don't always know where the enemies are standing. Sometimes you just want to close your eyes and run blindly through the dark cavern until you hit something. While we're not doing anything important, I think now's a good time to mention that that timer on the bottom of the screen actually does something in this game. It prevents you from waiting for your meter to fill up and spamming your ultimate all the time, because it will run out if you do that. And uh, that's about it. That's about all the commentary I got in reserve. Unfortunately, this dark tunnel segment, not a lot to talk about if we're playing as the Hulk can pretty much just button mash our way through it. Welcome to the boss room. We only skipped about a minute of walking down a dark corridor. We have to fight a few goons before our boss appears, strangely enough, but she'll be here in a moment. Before we get into the battle proper, let's check out this ultimate Hulk Scott. Hmm, half her whole health bar, yeah, that seems about right. So Madame Mask has the the uh the fearsome ability to throw grenades and summon barrels from the ceiling. Now obviously you want to avoid the grenades, because even though we're the Hulk, they will still knock us down. That being said, we have like six health bars. So we're just gonna walk up to her and use our basic combo until she falls over. Something to note about Hulk's ultimate is that it may look like it goes straight up and down, but it actually moves just slightly forward, so it's best to use when the enemy is slightly in front of you. Let's summon Cap, and Cap's gone already. I guess he didn't feel like sticking around. <laughs> 